Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the Lenovo IdeaPad S940. So before we get into this at all, we gotta talk a little bit about branding because Lenovo's branding is a little bit of a mess. Uh, so you remember just, you know, two years ago, we had the Yoga 920. That was the flagship convertible. And it was very simple at the time. Yoga meant convertible, IdeaPad meant clamshell. Simple, right? So um, what they changed it to at some point, um, that didn't apply at all anymore. Yoga now means premium and IdeaPad is more mainstream budget, you know, that lower end stuff. And so now we decide between convertibles and clamshells based on um, a prefix before the number. So uh, C means convertible. S means slim, and that's a clamshell. So S940, this is a clamshell. Um, and then, like the C930, that's a convertible. And then D was going to be detachable, but I don't think they've ever used that just yet. So, but you'll notice that this is called the IdeaPad S940. And the reason for that is because, well, they're just going to call some of them IdeaPads in the United States. That's it. <laughs> so... It is a premium device, even though it's still called IdeaPad, and it is a clamshell, although that's not what IdeaPad means in this situation. <laughs> All right, so let's let's open up the box and see what's in here. All right, we got a big box and then a little box inside. All right, let's get rid of some, there's some shipping labels that just fell out. We'll get rid of these. All right. All right, so this is a very little box, so there's gonna be more stuff in here, yes. Uh, this is something I see Dell do. I don't think I've ever seen Lenovo do it, where they have the big box, they have the little box inside, and then all that's in the little box is the laptop itself, and then you have a separate box for chargers and such. So let's let's open this first because we're gonna spend all the time with the device once you open it. We have a 65 watt charger, USB Type C, as you'd expect, and of course a power cable. Um, no pen, obviously, no pen support. It's a clamshell, though it should have a touchscreen. This PC was first announced at CES, along with a million other devices, and that's just how Lenovo rolls, okay? <laughs> Lenovo, just when they have a product announcement, it's not just one product. They do like a half dozen at a time. So um, at CES, they had the, the new ThinkPad X1 units, that's the, the Carbon and the Yoga, no tablet this year. Um, they had the, the obviously this one, the, the, the S940. They had a new C730, which was a 15.6 inch, um, Convertible, obviously, but but um, the big selling point was that it comes with an AMOLED display. And then they had the A940 all-in-one, which is actually pretty awesome, and I, I'd really like to try that out at some point. But what's so weird is that I walked into this demo room where they have the C730 and the A940 next to each other. And while this is a 14-inch screen and the C730 is a 15.6-inch screen... The, the 730 just looks so much bigger because this has such slim bezels, it doesn't look like a 14-inch device. And by the way, the other devices they announced at CES were a couple gaming laptops, a Legion Y, 740, and the 540. Um, all right, so let's take a look. Because really, like, this box is so small. Like, look at the size of this. You know, it's like the size of my torso. I don't even know why I made that comparison. That was stupid. Forget I said it. I'm not going to cut it out, though. Um very very slim okay yeah so we can see very small device you can see it has a little notch at the top and that just comes above the display okay so we can remove this so you can actually see the display um yeah there's a little notch at the top it's like a reverse notch um so the webcam is up here and that's because it really just has such slim bezels so this this does have a couple cool and interesting features um, aside from the, the reverse notch, which also doubles as a way to open it up. But um, it has what they call AI sensors, where it will alert you if someone's trying to look over your shoulder and see what you're working on. Or if you have it hook up, hooked up to an external display, um, it will know when your eyes are looking at the other display and switch content to that display. Um, there's another thing in here. Just we have a separate compartment for paperwork. You know, I gotta say, I wouldn't have minded if they used that compartment for the charger. Uh, so that's what's in the box, and now we're gonna boot this up. 
All right, so we're all booted up here, and I did not get a touchscreen model. Um, I, I, it should come with a touchscreen, although <laughs> that's just not what I got. Um, we can see it is 4K, so it's going to be Dolby Vision. All right, 4K. Unfortunately, I believe it's a, it is a Core i7, but 8 gigs of RAM, and um, it does come with 256 gigs of storage. Um, I, I'm already going to recommend going for 16 gigs of RAM. I think that's the way to go, if you're, especially if you're buying a premium device. Okay, so we get to see, though, how small the bezels are all around. And you just have this notch up here. So there's some extra sensors up here. There's a tiny little webcam. Okay, um, clickable trackpad. Um, Dolby Atmos speakers on the side. So you're going to have a premium audio experience from this device as well. Um, you can see it's super slim. So all they have over here is USB Type-C and a 3.5 millimeter combo audio jack. And then over here, two more Type-C ports. These are both Thunderbolt 3. Okay, so no Type-A. I believe this is the first device from the 900 series to completely leave out USB Type-A. But this device is stunning. It's just a beautiful it is a beautiful laptop, and that's why I really had my eye on this when I saw it at CES. Um, it just seems like a winner. It has, you can see there, there's curved glass on the side of the display. It's very just pretty to look at, and I really think Lenovo has a winner with the design here. The screen is beautiful. Um, shallower keyboard than you get with, with a uh, ThinkPad. You know, standard consumer model stuff. I do believe there's an option for a fingerprint sensor, though that's not on this device. This device does have an IR camera that's up here in that little reverse notch. Okay, so here's Lenovo Vantage that just uh, popped up. Welcome to your device. Let's get you set up. Um, or Lenovo Welcome. There was just a Lenovo Vantage notification, which apparently supports voice control now. And uh, this does have far field voice mics, so you can use it for Alexa or Cortana or whatever you like to use um, for your digital assistant. I think well, those are really the only two on Windows. We've also got this feature called Glance, um, and what that's supposed to do, it's it's kind of eye tracking or head tracking, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how it works, I've never seen a feature like this before. So uh, the color will be gray if you disable Glance by clicking on the visualizer. Snap windows from screen to screen. So the idea is that, like I said before, if you have a, another monitor hooked up, you just look at the other screen and it just moves the content. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, yeah, so snap the pointer from screen to screen. The pointer will teleport to the list when you were looking. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about this. I, um, I'm, I'm not... That's about to snooze because you unplugged your monitor. I never had a monitor plugged in. I'm, I'm just not sure how I feel, though, about um, moving content from one window to another just by moving my eyes. I'm pretty comfortable with drag, dragging and dropping using a mouse. So we'll kind of see how that goes. So that's mostly it for the device itself. He's very slim, very light, very portable, and su such a small footprint. And I just, I love the display and I love the curved glass on the edges. Wow, that's unnecessary. Um, it looks like I'm gonna, well, obviously it has McAfee on it and obviously that is the first thing that we're going to be removing after I do a factory reset. Cause this did come uh, with a Lenovo account pre-installed as many review units do. So. I always do a factory reset, put my own account on there, and uninstall McAfee because it's the worst software that you could get. It's irresponsible of OEMs to pre-install it on devices, and um, I highly recommend everyone uninstall McAfee. All right, so uh, back to what I was saying before that popped up. We have a uh, 9 series um, thing up here. Uh, it's just pretty cool. I, they're clearly going for um, a little bit of branding around their premium lineup, which is the 9 series. You know, that that's something we're seeing more and more common. And so, you know, like so, sort of how, how HP does um, on, on the Spectre, if they have it right on, along the hinge, it'll say Spectre. But um, obviously Lenovo's going for the front of the, the device. Um, standard um, gray color. I don't love the design from the outside. I, I um, 
think it looks rather bland in this color. Um, I think that the inside is really where where the winner is, and it's such a pretty device to look at. I wonder, like, if I if I if I use this thing in Starbucks, someone might look over just because it's pretty, and then I'll get an alert that someone's trying to spy on me, you know. But yeah, it's it's going to be a great device, and I know that already. So the last Yoga 9 series device that I reviewed was the C930. Um, before that, it was the Yoga 920. Uh, but with the C930, what they did was they had a hinge with a sound bar right across here. And so that worked where, you know, if you're using like a clamshell, the sound's firing right out at you. And then if you folded the display back, the, the sound bar would rotate. So no matter how you're using it, you'd have that sound bar pointing and you had great audio quality. So... With this, we can see, we like I said, the Dolby Atmos speakers, they're just firing up at you because it's a clamshell. And um, the reason I'm telling that story about the previous device, which is a different form factor, is because um, I'm sure that the audio quality on this will be great because we've already seen Lenovo uh, have that focus on, on powerful and immersive audio quality. And Dolby Atmos is always really good. I'm so happy we, we have this trend of seeing it on laptops and even smartphones now. There are also, according to the guide, there are two downward firing speakers. Oh yeah, so you, if we have them on the sides here, there are also downward firing speakers. So I have not seen that on a laptop that I've noticed. I've seen it on convertibles from HP where, um, that was their idea for how you can use your as you use it as a tablet where the display is folded all the way back and still have audio firing at you. So this is meant to work with Dolby Atmos in a way that I don't completely understand. It says, all right, I'm going to um, it's meant to augment spatial sound that gives movies and music much more depth um, pair, paired with Dolby's user friendly software. Um, and, and that's that. So so I'm going to test this out. I'll, I'll probably compare it to some other Dolby Atmos devices that don't have speakers on the bottom. Um, and speaking of Dolby, we also have a Dolby Vision display, as I pointed out. So like I said, they, they announced the, the C730 at the same time. And um, that, that was AMOLED. So we're seeing a, a big trend towards OLED in some parts of the market. Um, and we're also seeing a big trend towards... Uh, more standard um, HDR displays like this one. Uh, so this is so this is Dolby Vision. This is something that that Lenovo started doing last year with its uh, ThinkPad X ones because uh, two years ago they were all OLED. Then they switched to Dolby Vision, and now it kind of seems that they're moving back to OLED. But this one is Dolby Vision. So you get Dolby Atmos combined with Dolby Vision, and you should be able to get a really immersive media consumption experience out of this laptop. Like I said, I'm pretty excited to try it out. So this particular model, it is available now. Um, it costs $17,99.99. And like I said, Core i7-8565U. Uh, you can get it with a Core i5 if you want. I don't really recommend Core i5. I, you know, I think you, you want that performance boost. 14-inch um, UHD display. 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. If you want more RAM, it does come in 16 gigs. I always recommend 16 gigs. Um, it, it's, you're, you're more future-proofed. You know, whatever you want to do with this thing, it's, gonna, it's a powerful machine. You're going to want to be able to do more at some point. Um, uh, I, I probably want 5, 12 gigs of storage. Um, this one's got 256. But, um, you know, I'm always looking for the perfect laptop. And it doesn't exist, obviously. But what I'm looking for always is something that's really portable and I can get all my work done with and also enjoy media content with. So usually what I end up with is something like a Dell XPS 15 where it's got that H series processor, it's got dedicated graphics, but then that has terrible battery life. So this one has the media consumption experience and it has um, great productivity experience. So... Most of the work that I'm going to do is going to be great at it. Um, although it especially would be if it had 16 gigs of RAM. <laughs> but yeah, so $17.99 for this model. More if you want more. And um, it's got a lot. It's uh, like Just look at how tiny the bezels are, how beautiful the display, the display is. Although it is very glossy. Um, the, the curved edges, the flat top, the even the 9 series imprint, the, the Dolby Atmos speakers. Like, this is a well 
designed clamshell laptop. I really wish these... Oh, your computer comes with Glance by Metrics. Do you want to try it now? Well, the notification went away. Maybe I'll check it out later. One last thing about this display, though. Uh, 2.4 millimeter bezels on the sides, 3.6 millimeters on the top, 4.4 millimeters on the bottom, 90% screen to body ratio. And the only company that, that claims a, a higher screen to body ratio than that is Huawei with the MateBook X Pro claiming 91%. So yeah, awesome thing. Um, I'm going to have a review on this in about a month. So stay tuned for that. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.